And a special thanks and shout out to Community Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Bloomington, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film today. Hello everyone, today we'll be taking an in-depth walk around look at this very nice and very well equipped 2008 Volkswagen EOS 2.0 Turbo Comfort. And this EOS is painted in Izmir Blue Metallic, features the corn silk beige leather interior. And the EOS is front wheel drive. It is powered by a 2 liter turbocharged inline 4 cylinder engine. Creates 200 horsepower at 5,100 RPM. 207 pound feet of torque at 1,800 RPM. It is good for a 0 to 60 mile per hour time in 6.9 seconds. With a 0 to 100 mile per hour time in 18.9 seconds. It will clear the quarter mile in 15.4 seconds at 92 miles per hour. Top speed is electronically limited to 130 miles per hour. And they are made to the 6-speed dual-clutch DSG Tiptronic automatic gearbox with sport mode and manual shiftability via the lever. Named after the Greek goddess of the dawn, the EOS is a sport compact cabriolet that was produced at the Auto Europa plant in Portugal from 2006 to 2015. The EOS is a convertible-only coupe designed to replace the Golf Cabrio and is the only production coupe built by Volkswagen since the 1995 discontinuation of the Corrado. The EOS is a standalone model with its own unique body panels. Prior to production, the EOS was shown as a Concept C concept car at the 2004 Geneva Motor Show. The production EOS was presented in September of 2005 at the Frankfurt Motor Show, with the North American introduction at the Los Angeles Auto Show in January of 2006. 
The EOS has a complex roof system manufactured by Oasis, a subsidiary of Webasto. It incorporates into its five-piece folding roof an integrated and independently sliding glass sunroof, making the EOS the only retractable hardtop of this kind. The roof folds automatically into the trunk in 25 seconds. Periodic maintenance is required to keep the seals conditioned to function properly. Early models were prone to leaking, but this was fixed in 2009. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look inside. Nice interior treatment with high quality and attention to details. Nice flowing black portion of the top part of the door. You'll have simulated wood grain trim, power heated mirrors, power windows and power door locks. You also have a switch to lower all four windows at the same time. You also have fuel door release and trunk release. 8-way power driver and passenger seat with 4-way adjustable lumbar supports. Nice, firm, and comfortable supportive seats. High adjustable head restraints. And on the instrument panel, you do have headlamp controls with fog lamp controls, instrument panel dim, a tilt and telescope leather wrapped steering wheel, Alright, and pan through the interior and show in a little more details. Nice, firm, power assisted steering. Multifunction controls on the steering wheel for your trip computer, audio controls, as well as menu controls. Easy to read instrumentation with blue backlighting and red in, uh, information needles. Soft touch dash with a leather grain look. Satin silver accents. AM FM Sirius XM satellite radio with CD player. And you've also got dual zone automatic climate control. And you've also got outboard heated seats. And behind the shift lever, you have your ESP control. You've also got a small storage bin with a 12-volt power point. And moving down, you have dual cup holders, your power top switch, as well as your power sunroof switch. Small amount of storage on the center armrest. The center armrest is unique in that you can set it up to an angle for added comfort. And looking overhead, you have an automatic dimming rear view mirror, overhead map lights, you also have red accent lighting, vinyl padded sun visors with illuminated uh, vanity mirrors. Alright, getting access to the second row or the back seat is easy just by lifting up the lever. And there's a power switch that'll move the seat forward. And the rear seat does seat two individual seats with integrated head restraints and integrated uh, rollover protection. Soft padded armrest with integrated speakers. The seat backs are fixed, they do not fold. And rear seat passengers have a 12 volt power point. You've also got pop-out cup holders. The center portion of the seat does have a locking storage area. It does feature a small trunk pass-through.
All right, let's take a look at the luggage area. The Volkswagen emblem is actually the luggage area release and handle. As you can see with the top in the stowed position, trunk space is at a minimum. Seven cubic feet is all you have. All right, with the top and the upright and lock position, trunk space is a bit better at 11 cubic feet. You can actually move this uh, luggage blocker out of the way. Gives you a little bit more room. It is a nice and deep trunk. Fully lined and fully carpeted. All right, let's take a look at the car with the hard top and the upright and lock position. As you can see, it fully transforms into a two-door coupe with tight body seals, minimal roof noise, as well as wind noise. Visibility is really nice and wide with the small C-pillars and the rear backlight. As you can see, it does have LED turn indicators. And here is a look at the power sunroof in operation. As you can see, it is a wide sunroof from pillar to pillar. And it's fully functional with a sunscreen included. Alright, and this does conclude our in-depth walk-around look at the 2008 Volkswagen EOS 2.0 Turbo Comfort. We hope the review was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.